Welcome to the two by two fat shred. Today's workout is going to incorporate eight different exercises. That's right, eight different exercises. And each one is gonna be, we'll be going through it twice, and then we'll have a break, and then we'll go to the other side, go through it twice, have a break, go to the other side, go through those four exercises twice, break, and then we'll finish on the last four exercises cycling through them. Each exercise today is going to be, excuse me, excuse me, going to be 30 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. So we're gonna be doing a, a little bit of a negative work to rest ratio. That's gonna be upping the challenge for this particular workout. If for whatever reason you need a little bit longer rest, take it. Or if you need to do a little bit shorter interval, uh, do that as well. Of course, always modify for what your ability is. We wanna make sure that you're getting the best workout for you. We'll also have about a five to seven minute warm up and a two to five minute cool down at the end. All right, without further ado, let's get moving. If you have, if you have a foam roller, grab your foam roller. If you don't, you'll do breathing as per the usual. So crack that out, breathing. Hands under the, or head on the hands and breathe into the stomach and out through the mouth. If you have a roller, sit on the roller, roll out the glute, up and back. We're gonna do about 10 swipes or 10 reps here, 20 to 30 seconds. Should feel a pretty good massage. And switch sides. If you have any trigger points, focus on those. That is any spots that kind of hurt. Those are the spots that are kind of matted down and not functioning at a high level, or an optimal level. All right. This workout, or this uh, next one, upper back between the shoulder blades from the bottom of the shoulder blades to the top of the shoulder blades or just above or just below either way you can either hug yourself separate the shoulder blades out or go into a prayer position all right next will be our quads you can go both quads at the same time if your quads are quite sensitive. If you need a little more pressure, go one leg at a time. You can even get into the hip too if you need to. Turn that foot in and out, get different parts of the quad. Ooh. And once I get to that hip, I got a trigger point right there. You'll know when it, you hit a trigger point because it definitely kind of hurts. All right, switching sides. Again, from the bottom of the hip, or you can go even into the hip to the top of the knee. Ooh. Definitely, this side doesn't hurt quite as much. But definitely, there's a trigger point. Next exercise, we're already, or I'm already standing, so we'll do the standing version of the hip flexor stretch. We'll keep the back heel on the ground, lean it forward, arms up, breathe in, breathe out, and drop it down, straighten out the front leg, drop it down into your hamstring stretch. Here we go, number two. Lean it forward and drop it down, new hamstring stretch. As you come up and forward, you're gonna know the front, notice the front knee bends, you're leaning into it, you're feeling a stretch in the hip and the calf. And then when you come down, you straighten out that front leg. 
exactly like you're doing a deadlift backward and then back up here. And another one after this. Here we go. All right, switch it out. Other side. Same thing. Lean it forward, stay tall, stretch it out. Here we go. All right. Should be feeling a pretty good stretch in the calf and also your hip flexor. We got one more after this. Come up, lean it forward, and drop it back down. All right, leaning on your side now. We're gonna go clamshell, so knees bent up to about 45 degrees from the body. We're not gonna rock back at all. If anything, we're gonna stay in place and then rotate that knee up, keep the feet together and down. Rotate it up and down, up and down, up. Now squeeze the glute and down, up, squeeze the glute, down, up, squeeze the glute and down. Good deal, switch sides. Here we go. Rotate it up and down, up and down, up and down, up. Squeeze it out, down, up. Squeeze the glute and down. Now, laying in the supine or hook line position rather, which is supine with the knees in the air. We're going to put our feet flat on the ground and drive up, squeeze for a good count of three, here we go, squeeze, three, two, one, and down, up, three, two, one, and down, you should feel this in the glutes, three, two, one, and down, keep grabbing the ground with the feet, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, and down, up, three, two, one, and down, up, three, two, one, and down. Last one, up, three, two, one, and good. Next one, we'll stay laying here. We'll do what's called a floor slide. This is similar to the wall slide, only our hands are on the ground. We're gonna bring our arms up and then slide them back down. Uh, this is good if you have a hardwood floor or linoleum floor like I do. If you don't have that, you can certainly just hold the position or go to the wall and do a regular wall slide. Either way. And here we go. Up and down. One. Up and down. Two. Keep pressing the low back as much as you can to the ground as well. And down. Up and down. Should be feeling a pretty good stretch in the chest and shoulders. And down. Back up. And down. Back up. And down. Do two more. Up. And down, up, and down. Now, downward dog, upward dog. We're going to start in the plank position. Hips up, grab the heels down, and then upward dog, chest up in the air. Downward dog, upward dog. Stretching out the calves, stretching out the abs. Stretching out the calves, stretching out the abs. Stretch out the calves, stretch out the abs. Let's go one more here. All right, next will be spider lunge. So we're gonna be in the same lunge position here. We'll bring up one foot next, or yeah, one foot next to the hand. Here, we're gonna use our core, rotate and extend. Hand back down, switch sides. Same thing, other side. Here we go. Switch sides, rotate, extend, down. Other side, rotate, extend, down. Other side, rotate, extend, down. Rotate, extend, down. Other side, rotate.
rotate, extend. Man, should be feeling a pretty good stretch in the front hips. Rotate, actually switch, rotate, extend, and down. All right, back to your feet. Next will be toe touch the frog squat. For this one, you're going to reach for the toes, keep your knees slightly straight or slightly bent, whatever it takes for you to be able to touch your toes. Grab your toes, drop down, hips up, drop down, hips up, drop down, hips up, drop down. A couple more. Hips up, drop down. You should feel a pretty good hamstring stretch when your hips are up. And then drop down. Hips up, drop down. Good. Lateral lunge, side to side. We're going to feel like we're squatting to one side or the other. Ready, here we go. Drop down to one side and then the other. Drop to one side and then the other. Here we go. You're going to be keeping good posture. We're not rounding your shoulders. If you notice you're having a problem with that, hold your hands up in front of you. That will help fight that punch position. A couple more. One more each side. And that's it for that one. Final exercise of the warm-up deadlift position. So feet about shoulder width apart or hip width apart. You're gonna go butt back and stand up. We're gonna keep our spine in a neutral position. We're not too far extended. We're also not running forward. Hips or spine is in neutral. And then we're standing up. If you want a little more challenge, stagger stance. Same thing, or if you want to do the full one leg version, which is what I'm going to do, you can follow along. We're going to drive the back leg up and back, reach out in front of you, and stand up. If you need a crutch, like the wall or something like that to touch, to grab onto, go for it. And two, drive the hips through first as you go stand up. Back leg back, hands up, drive through. Back leg. Hands up, drive through. Make sure this knee right here is bent a little bit. And four. Grab two more. And five. One more. And that was six. Switching sides. Drop it down. Hands up, through. Drop uh, foot up, leg up, hands up, through. Leg up, hands up, through. Leg up, hands up, through. That's four. Two more. And five, here we go. And six, good. All right, get some water before we get moving. Today's workout, again, is a two by two. We're gonna, we'll be doing, I'm actually going to fix the camera just a little bit. Two by two means we're gonna do four exercises, two rounds through, take a break, go to the other side, two rounds through, and then do it again. Our first four exercises I'm gonna show right now, so that way we can just flow through it because it is 30 seconds of work and then only 15 seconds of rest. So we're gonna be going through quite fast. You will need a band if you don't, and if you don't have it, I will also show a body weight version of what we're about to do. First one is gonna be speed lunge or lunge jump. So speed lunge, we're gonna be in a lunge position, just drop down, up and down, and then at the half, we'll switch sides. If you wanna do the plyo version, it's just gonna be jumping through it. You can also do the version where you stop in the middle and stop in the middle and go. So all those versions will be acceptable. Then we have a mountain climber. So hands on the ground, mountain climber. If you have a sliders, if you have sliders, you want to do mountain slider, you could do that as well. This is where the band is going to come in. We're going to do band and deadlift. And then the final one will be band row. So band deadlift will step into the band. From here, hold on to the handles. Deadlift back and stand up. Deadlift back and stand up. We're gonna do as many reps as you can during that 30 seconds. And then 
And then for the final exercise, hold that position and row. Or if you're, for whatever reason, if you want to do a staggered position, you can certainly do a staggered position. Now for those previous two exercises, if you want to use dumbbells, you can certainly do your dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever you might have available to you. If you don't have a weight for the in place of the deadlifts, go ahead and do single leg glute bridge or a regular glute bridge. Either way would be fine. If you want to elevate your feet up onto like a sturdy bench or a box, that would be even better. And then, of course, for the rows, if you don't have a weight to do this, you can certainly do the bent over um, reverse flies. That'll help do a pulling motion. You can add a little weight. If you have a little weight, if you have little five pound weights, that'll be even better than doing no weight. All right, I'm gonna get us moving here. Get the timer going. Once we get the timer going, we'll get moving. All right, two times through those four exercises. Come on, put it here so I can see it. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Into that plyo lunge. If you don't have, like for me, I don't have the, all the range of motion in my right hip, only go with whatever the range of motion that you have. And of course, if you wanna make it a little quicker, go right into that jump. All right, 15 seconds, uh, get in the position, mountain climber. Get about to start here in a second. Here we go, mountain climber. Gonna go as fast as you can on this one. You can go across the body too if you want to go across the body. We got five seconds left. Here we go. Okay. Deadlift now. Or whatever variation that you're gonna do. Either way is fine. Get in the position. Here we go. As many reps as you can. Again, good posture. Hips back, hips through. Grab the ground with the feet. If you need to make it a little more challenging, you can put your hands through the room, loop and grab it a little lower. Five seconds. Hips back, hips through, keep going. All right. Now it's gonna be rows. here and rows. As many rows as you can get in in the 30 seconds. Of course, if you want to make it harder, again, you can certainly grab down the band a little more. Keep that good posture. Don't let the shoulders round. Now, eight seconds, seven seconds left, six seconds. Finish it out. Back to the first exercise. Speed lunges, or variation thereof. Here we go. Keep going. 
going strong here, dropping down. Again, use a regular version or do a little more bands. Let's get the slap in between. Back side of the hole. Here we go, stay tall. All right, mountain climber. Whew. Get into position. We're about to start. Here we go. Here we go. Running in place essentially. Keep that back flat. We're not sagging down. Keep the knees nice and low to the ground. As much as you can. If for any reason you need to stop, shake it out, do so, and get right back to it. As fast as you can. On three seconds, two seconds, finish it out. Good deal. All right. Deadlift. In the position. Again. Here we go. Hips back, hips through. Hips back, hips through. Keep that good posture. And of course, for whatever reason, if you need to take a longer break, take a sm small break in, in the middle of the round, go ahead and do so. Here we go. Hips back and through. Go relatively quickly here. Here we go. Hips back and through. All right, rows. Shake it on a sec. All right, ready? Three seconds. Get in position, and here we go. Rows. Here we go, here we go. 20 seconds. If you need to shake it out, do so. Stand up, shake it out. Readjust. Here we go. Ten seconds. Finish it out. Whatever you have left. Here we go. Pull into the bottom of the chest. Hands all the way up. All right. Then we get about ninety seconds of rest. Get some water. Next four exercises, we have speed skater, so side to side jump. If you don't want to do that one, certainly shuffle back and forth or peek in and out for jacks. Either those will work. Then we have uh, upper twist, sitting on your butt, lean your back, rotate the shoulders back and forth. Next one after that will be side plank, hip drop or leg lift, either way. And of course, halfway, I'll announce halfway, and then we'll switch to the other side. So take your pick, either this one or this one. Or you can certainly just hold, hold your position. And then the last one will be that high knee strike or high knees run. Either way, uh, take your pick. All right, 10 seconds in counting, then we're moving on and starting that round. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here so I can see it later. Here we go, speed skater side to side. Go as fast as you can, as far as you can. Arm staying close, side to side, good landing, you don't fall off balance. Go as fast as you can now, whatever you have. Take it. And three seconds, two seconds, one second, and time. Upper twist. I'm actually gonna pull up my mat, or my towel, rather. Five seconds, and counting, get in position, and lean it back, here we go. Here we go. Rotate the shoulders. Knees are, turn the music back up. 
Here we go. Keep rotating, keep rotating. Lean it back. If you need to make it harder, bring the feet up off the ground. Here we go. 10 seconds. Keep rotating, keep rotating. And time. Something happened to my tunes. Uh oh. My, uh, my phone is not cooperating here. Side plank in uh, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Here we go. I'm going to hold it and try to figure out this music thing. I don't know why it uh, turned off. Here we go. Uh-oh. Not working out here. Switch sides. And that's it. If you want to hold a little longer, I know we're kind of a little lopsided there. Uh, next was the, what did I say it was? Oh yeah, the high knee runs. Here we go. Ready, and here we go. High knee runs. Get as fast as you can here. 30 seconds. Or the knee strikes, whatever you want to do. Ten seconds. All out effort. Here we go. And time. All right. I'm gonna pause the rest for a second to see if I can't get the music going after it died. Uh, sometimes you get some technicalities. Technical difficulties. There we go. I don't know what happened there. All right. Speed skaters. Get a little extra rest here. Four seconds and counting. And go. Here we go. Speed skater. As fast as you can, as far as you can. Here we go. Side to side, side to side, go as far as you can, as fast as you can, keep arms in close. Again, if you need to do shuffles instead, or jacks, go for it. I'll do those for the last 10 seconds here. Getting as fast as you can. You can certainly add a band if you have a small band. All right, upper twist. Be in position, be ready for it. And knee it back, here we go. Rotate it side to side. Use the abs to rotate. Don't use anything else. If you make it more challenging, feet up in the air. Ooh, that was, that's a whole nother level of challenge. Wow. Take second if you need it, readjust. Almost there. All right. Get in position, side plank, your variation that you want to do on this. And hips up. Here we go. I'm going to do leg up and down. Up and down, seven, up and down, eight, keep those feet straight, nine, here we go, switch sides. Oh, I'm going go for a couple extra seconds here, just because it took me a few extra seconds to turn. If you were not to turn, that was it, I'm going to do a couple more, all right, next is up on the feet. Now we're gonna do strikes. So high knee strikes. Got the towel behind me. Go as hard as you can. Strike it. And switch it. Here we go. 
gonna act like you're straight if you had a hand on your ball or a ball in your hands. Talking backwards today, strike that ball with the knee. All right. That would be break time again. We're going to go back to the four, the first four exercises. Get some water. Again, just to recap the first four exercises. Speed lunge or plyo lunge, meaning we're going to jump through it. You can follow along with me on that one. Mountain climber. Then we got band deadlifts and band row. Again, you can modify the bands if you need to, or any of the exercises for that matter. But if you don't have a band or a pair of dumbbells or something like that, you can certainly do glute bridges and bent over T for the, or reverse by if you will, for the, uh, the last two. All right, about 40 seconds. Keep eating your water, let the heart rate cool down. Two rounds through this one, and then we'll be back to the other side, or back to the last four exercises for two rounds through. Whew. Take a good second, wipe off any sweat that you have. 10, actually 20 seconds, because it'll be a 10 second countdown. This one should be a relatively tough one. 10 seconds, start getting prepared. We're going to get moving here pretty quickly. I'm actually going to move my towel out of the way. Here we go. And start. And drop. And drop. And up. And drop. Up and drop. Up and drop. Go as quick as you can here. If you have any knee issues, or any issues if you want to do more of like a standing stator, you can certainly do that. A little hold quickly, don't sit there. Five seconds. All right, break. Mountain climber next. Get into position. Almost there for the rest. Here we go. Running in place, essentially. Keep the hips level. To the ground, you can rotate under you as well. If you need to stop, shake it out, do so. Here we go. Almost there, almost done. All right, grab your band if you have it, or dumbbells. Get in position. And deadlift. Here we go. Hips up and back. Keep good posture. Go as quick as you can. And of course, if you want to make it a little more challenging, hands through the loops and go through the motions. back and row. Hold the bottom of the chest as many reps as you can. Here we go. If you, need to, if you get tired out, you just shake it out a second, do so. If you want to do more of a deadlift and row combo, if you need to slow it down a little, you can certainly do that. A few more rows or a few more deadlifts isn't going to kill you. All right. Next, we got the uh, back to the plyo lunges, back to the top. Here we go. Drop down and through and through. Waste no time. Here we go. Long stride. Don't be too narrow. Front heel should still be on the ground. 
Just like that. Quickly off the ground. Here we go. If you need to stop at the top, stop at the top and switch. That'll slow it down a little bit. All right. Speed, our mountain climber. Get in position. Wipe off any sweat. Here we go. Here we go. Right in place. Knees low to the ground. Again, if you need to stop, shake it out, do so. About 10 seconds left. In position, about to start in three seconds. Go ahead and then you're ready. It's back and through. There we go. Again, if you need to increase intensity, grab down further down the band, hands wrist through the loop. Go as quick as you can here while you have good posture. If you need to, you can slow it down. Stay under a good posture. And eight seconds and counting. Get in position for the rows. Stand up, hips back, and row. Row to the bottom of the chest again. Squeeze your big black muscles that are under your armpit or directly beneath your armpit. Here we go, as many reps as you can, we're about halfway. Again, if you need to shake it out, just stand up, shake it out a bit, and then back to it. Good posture, hold that posture. Five seconds. Here we go, we got this. All right. Get some water, break time, and last four exercises. All right, about 50 seconds, or 60 seconds actually, we had a 10 second buffer. But we're back to those last, or second four exercises. We have speed skater, side to side, jumping side to side, or a variation of shuffle or jacks, either way. Upper twist, side plank, both sides. And then of course, high knee strike or high knee run. Any variation of each one is completely fine. Do whatever you can. I want to make sure that this workout is appropriate. I'm going to use the term appropriate here for you. Keep your heart rate up, work hard, while also not injuring yourself or aggravating any pre existing injuries, which you should have 10 seconds left. If you have any pre existing injuries, you should definitely get clearance before doing a workout like this. All right, speed skaters in three. Two, one, and here we go. Side to side, get as far as you can, as fast as you can. Arms staying close. Here we go, here we go. All right, side to side. I know the side of my thighs are starting to burn. Glutes and everything. Quick, tap and go, tap and go. Spend not too much time on the ground. And done. All right, upper twist. We bring the towel, the towel over. What is also my quote unquote mat. Hopefully you guys like it. Up, oh, running late, upper twist, and go. Rotate the shoulders, 
side to side, adjust anything if you need to. The farther back you are, the harder it's going to be. But of course, bring the feet up in the air for additional challenge. I do need to bring this down so I can see it for the next exercise. Oh, wow, I am burning here. All right. Whew. All right, side plank. You can do hip, hip drops, which I'm gonna do this time, or leg ups, leg raises. All right, here we go. Hip drop, up and down. Try to get almost all the way to the ground and back up. You're straight from your shoulders all the way down to your feet. And go ahead and switch sides. Staying tall, staying straight. Almost there. All right. And then the last exercise is, in fact, on your feet. Five seconds in counting. Running in place. Here we go. Running in place. Get the knees up nice and high. Go as quick as you can here. If you need to keep your knees lower for any reason, do so. The higher you get the knees up, the harder it's going to be, the more heart rate that you're going to have. And that's what we're going for here. Here we go. Eight seconds. Finish it strong. And time. All right, back to the first exercise. Speed skater or jacks. Four seconds. Here we go, speed skater, side to side, side to side. Get as far as you can, as fast as you can. Side to side, side to side. Get as far as you can, produce a little more power. Here we go. Side to side. 10 seconds left, here we go. Finish it out strong. So quick as you can. And that was the last time we're doing that one for today. Upper twist. Lean it back and rotate. Use the core, rotate the shoulders. All right. Shake it out if you need a breather, and right back into it. Again, legs up if you need more, oh, more of a challenge. My arm, my core is too shut. All right, side plank. All right, side plank, this time leg lift, hips up, one, here we go, feet facing forward, all right, switch sides, here we go, the hips up, deep the feet forward, Almost there. All right. And high knee strikes or running in place. I'm gonna do the high knee strikes this time. And here we go, high knee strikes. Go for half. I'll let you know what to switch. As fast as you can, as hard as you can. If you wanna do the running still, go for it. You don't have to do this. Here we go, and go ahead and switch. This is for those who need the modification. Four seconds, finish it up as quick as you can. All right. That is 
the workout portion. Now we'll be going into the cool down for about, uh, about five minutes or so. First thing we're gonna do, same or similar to the first stretch that we did at the beginning of the workout. We're gonna go strided stance or split stance. We're gonna stay tall, lean it forward, we're gonna feel a stretch in our hip and our calf. We're gonna keep our hands on our hip this time. And all we're gonna do is breathe into the stomach, fill the belly with air, and then breathe out on my count. Ready? Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. I'm gonna angle myself. All right, lean it back forward. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Last one. Breathe in. And out. Switch sides. Long stride. Hips forward. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. Fill the belly with air. That's all you're going to focus on here. And out. Breathe in. And out. Again, should be feeling a pretty good stretch in the hip and the calf. If your heel is on the ground and you're still not feeling that stretch in the calf, your calf is either really flexible or maybe your foot's not back far enough. All right, standing doorway stretch. Now for this one, you can certainly use both arms on the door, just like so, and lean in. It's hard for me to do on this side because there's a fridge on the other side, but lean in. Um, actually, I'll just do, go ahead and do it this way for today. So come here, I'm just gonna lean in, stay tall, breathe into the stomach, here we go, breathe in. Feel a stretch in the chest and the shoulders. And breathe out. Breathe in. Stay tall while you're doing this and breathe out. Now, if all you have, the, if you only have the ability because the door is too wide, you can certainly do one arm at a time. Here we go. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. thing we'll do is just breathing by itself. I'm going to fix my mat here, aka my towel. <laughs> Supine hook line position. That is on your back with your knees in the air, feet flat on the ground. Just go ahead and breathe in. Breathe in to your stomach and out through your mouth. Feel that belly rise into your hands. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. All right, two more. We will do two more of these. Breathe in and out. Last one. Breathe in. And out. You should now feel otherwise like your hip, like your heart rate's already winding back down. Again, that was the high intensity interval uh, two by two bat shred workout. Uh, thanks, number one, for tuning in. Uh, this has been a production by Brown Fitness and Performance. I'm Coach Adam. If anyone is interested in getting help, excuse me, individual help with their training, I am certainly happy to help virtually at this time before we're able to actually get back into, into normalcy and back into gyms. Or 
in the future, if someone is watching this video after the fact, if you want to know how I can help you virtually because you travel all the time and you can't quite get to the same gym day in and day out, virtual training would definitely be a good answer for that. Uh, anyway, if you uh, would like that sort of uh, assistance, please drop, a, please drop a message with tell me more in the comments below and I will get you the info that you need for that. Uh, right now, we're only looking for about three more people. So uh, if that's of interest to you, please don't delay. Those spots are going to fill up fast. I'm actually looking to fill those by the end of next week. So don't, don't delay on that if you really wanna do that. And of course, if you wanna keep following along with the Facebook Lives and you're good with these workouts, uh, perfectly fine every Monday or every weekday at 7.30 and Saturday at 8.30, unless I post on Facebook uh, for some reason that it gets delayed. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you guys at 7.30 tomorrow. I believe tomorrow is Friday. So happy Thursday and we'll see you guys soon.